Hey everyone, it's Alex from Hammond Networks here. And uh, today, I am working on making a troll cross necklace. Now I've made a few of these, um, give them away and whatnot, but uh, I want to kind of make one for you guys on camera. So I've taken just some rebar and I thinned it way down. It's probably not even quarter inch thick at this point. Um, it, it's not perfect. I'm gonna keep straightening it and I'm gonna taper both the ends um, and then I'll take you along and how to make them. And then I'll give you some of the back lore to you know the troll cross and where it comes from and all of like the meanings behind it because it is a, a fairly Viking esque um, symbol. So uh, I know I looked it up a whole bunch. I spent like half hour researching some of it, um, and it, there wasn't too much, but there is some. So I'm gonna share it with you guys at least what I could find uh, at the end of the video. So stick around for that, and uh, let's just hop right into it. Now I have both sides tapered. I'm going to round them over because um, I want them to be round. Now trans transition into a square in the center. Alright, so I scrolled this end, now it's time to do the other one. Alright guys, after that long and arduous process of trying to twist it, or to scroll it, there we go, we got two scrolls. Now it's time to, I'm gonna twist the center and then I'm actually gonna form it and then it should be all good. everyone so uh, here's all the twists now you want to make sure your scrolls are facing the same direction because you're gonna have to twist on the outsides of where your scrolls are so you're gonna twist you see how the scrolls like this you're gonna you're gonna come around the other way behind it so this so they will face on the inside and they're gonna cross over because it's a troll cross um, so I'm gonna heat it back up and we're gonna do that So there's a general kind of shape. Um, now I'm trying to kind of flatten it a bit. It's a little more oval the opposite way, um, or typically how the rune is presented. So I'm gonna work on that. 
Hey guys, so uh, I just came back to my camera. Whoops. I usually record on long sessions, so like however long it takes. Um, my camera just stopped recording. Um, I'm not sure why. I'm not sure when I cut off. I can cut off fairly early, but um, it's kind of what it looks like right now. Uh, I brushed it all. I think it looks pretty good. I'm going to heat this back up slightly and I'm going to drop it in some oil. So, er, I'm going to coat it. No, I'm not going to drop it in oil because I don't want to flash or nothing, but I'm going to coat it with some beeswax and that. So, we will do that quick and I'll be back with you when I have it all done. Hey everyone, uh, I'm back. So now it's lore time. Uh, this necklace right here, I brought uh, it is a necklace, or it's supposed to be worn around the neck. Um, here it is. I'm not sure how well you can see it. But it's uh, what, what's called a troll cross. It's a representation of the Odal or Othala rune. Um, and it deals with the matters of family, estate, and inheritance. And it is a protection of the family, estate, and inheritance from evil spirits just like the nailed up horseshoes were so if you saw like a iron horseshoe nailed up on someone's like uh, pole on their porch um, it was a way of warding off evil spirits and this was more like for personal protection um, whereas uh, crosses could have been inscribed uh, on top of doorways I'm looking at pictures of those right now um, I'll see if I can put a link to this article it's very helpful and it has a couple other cool things in it. Uh, but yeah, so, you know, way protection was scribing a, like a standard, you know, like a, like a T cross, like a standard Christian cross. Cause, uh, Scandinavian countries, uh, were at least partially Christian and they wanted to ward off evil spirits that were non-Christian like trolls. That could be, you know, a very devious break, kill, steal. Yeah, I've, all the bad stuff. So they wore these as personal protection, or at least some of them did. They kept them around like their house. Uh, I know I read something about them keeping around their cattle uh, as a way of protection to you know keep their inheritance, keep their family going. Um, yeah, so they they were seen as a way of personal protection for the wearer, the family, estate, household, uh, all that kind of stuff. So. If you want to go look at uh, these articles, I'll drop links down below to them. Or I think there's really one primary article. Uh, there's a few more that have Odell and Othala rune uh, kind of mythology. But this is the Troll Cross, and I'll leave you the main link if you want to go read it. So, thanks for watching. Please drop a like, comment, subscribe, and uh, hit the notification bell. Uh, my brother told me about that, something to do with alerting you guys whenever I got a new video out. But I have a new video almost every Sunday. I've missed one Sunday so far. Sorry about that. But uh, thanks for watching. Uh, see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.